What is up YouTube? Today we are going to be going over bi balanced binary tree. It's an easy problem on Leak Code. I know I said I wasn't going to do easy, but um, this one can be kind of tricky um, because you're using recursion. I know a lot of people don't find recursion easily and I'm definitely not the best with trees. So I've been doing a lot of tree problems. Anyways, I created a Slack channel where we I post these problems and a lot of us discuss them and just talk about fang stuff or interview type stuff i re recommend you guys join the description or the link is in the description below and lastly subscribe to my channel um if you guys haven't checked me out already check me out i'm posting videos every week while i prepare for interviews and you guys get to see my journey and now let's get to it all right so balanced binary tree it's exactly what it sounds like um we just have to see if it's balanced we don't have to balance it so that's easier than if we had to balance it which i'm sure is another problem but anyways for this problem um a bi a balanced binary tree is a binary tree in which the left and right subtrees of every no different height by no more than one so the height here is uh just um from nine to three it's one or yeah and um so the max is two so two and one uh, are not greater than um the difference isn't greater than two. So here we have the height is three, three nodes up. Um, the max is three nodes up and the min is uh, one node. So um, <clears throat> that's greater than three minus one is two. So that's greater than, or it's not less than two, it's greater than one, that's what it is. So that one's false. So I drew that on my whiteboard. Um, I'm this so this is a recursive problem most um, tree problems are recursive so I'm kind of gonna like go over in the whiteboard while I explain it um, so the first thing let's do is create a, a height function where we return the height so we're gonna pass in the node this is where we calculate the height obviously so I'm just gonna write return height for the end and um, up here so this is so this is our main function let's have our base case if the root is null that just means we have an empty tree so yes it's balanced and my video is getting in the way i need to move it up actually yeah. there we go okay so um now we just need to return our our cursive function. So um, when we're doing the height, we got to do absolute value because we're going to we don't know which um, subtree is going to be higher. So when we subtract them to get the difference, we got to make sure it's a positive number um, because we're comparing it to two. So that's why we use absolute. So let's do height of root dot left. So this is the left subtree minus height root dot right and that's almost off the screen and let's do less than two okay cool so let's write this function now so if root equals null we're gonna say it has a um height of negative one um if it were just one it'd have a height of zero so um when it's null it's negative one um, oh, well, we got to return negative one. And so now let's, um, you think, what do we have to do? Oh, int height. We got to calculate the height. Sorry, I felt something on my watch. Um, so <clears throat> int height is going to be, um, the max of, so we're calculating the max because we want to subtract the two maxes. Um, and because we're going to recursively go through the whole thing, this will make sense. I'm going to debug it and everything. We're already at three minutes. Okay, so max height of root dot left and height of root dot right. Okay, so what is this doing? This is basically saying, um, so we're gonna call this function. So we're gonna go root dot left, height root dot left. So we're gonna go here 
and um, we're in the height, so the root is not null, so then we're going to calculate the height. It's going to be the math.max of root.left. Well, that's the first one we call, so it's going to go to the, here, I'm going to start circling. So it's going to go to three because we just called root.left, and now it's going to call height again. Root still not null, int height. We actually, so something I forgot is we're never going to get the right answer if we don't add a one. Um, because, uh, I mean, it's never going to return a number if we don't um, add one to it. Um, so this is going to, if it's null, it has negative one, but if there's zero, it'll just make sense. So, so we're at three, it calls height, and then we do math.max of height root.left. So we're at um, four. So what is this going to return? Um, it's also going to call root dot left again and the root is finally null so it's on the stack it's going to return negative one but now it's going to kick out at four um, the height of root dot right at four so let's write out four is negative one as well um, so it's going to kick out now we're at three on the stack I should have created a stack so I'm gonna this is terrible I'm sorry guys recursion so hard to um, like visualize, draw out in my opinion. So now we're going to be at three. So now I'm going like backwards, upside down. Um, and so the root dot left, um, well, the root dot left is, uh, well, no, four, we got zero. So we're adding one. So four is zero. So now we have, um, the root dot left is zero and the right is going to be the same thing. It's going to be zero. Um, so the and we're, now we're going to add one to that. So what I'm trying to say is these returned zero as their height, obviously because negative one plus one, and um, so this is going to the flaca. Sorry guys, and the height of the root dot left and root dot right of three is these two, which we already solved recursively in the stack, and now we're just adding one to it. So it's going to be one flaca. Put it out. I'm gonna change the color. And then we just go all the way up. So two, so we have two. And uh, we already found this one, so it's one. And um, then we gotta call uh, height root dot right. So, and then this height dot root dot right, gonna recursively call, find that it's negative one, negative one. So this is a height of zero. Um, two is gonna have a height of zero. So we're doing the max. Um, so it's one plus one is two, and that's how it works. Um, so uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's how it's gonna work. The, the thing with this is it only checks the, um, it's the, this call only checks the, the max. Um, so in this case, it's actually going to return false. Um, it's gonna do this right one as well over here. Um, hopefully that made sense. Um, recursion is kind of tricky so let's run this do you guys think this is gonna work let's find out <clears throat> so it's actually not gonna work um, I well that's not why it's not gonna work um, I wanted to see if you guys would maybe like catch something okay well that one did um, but if I submit it that test case worked it's not gonna work um, the reason this worked is because this just returns false, but we need to check the other subtrees. Um, so we only checked the max of the root. We need to check the max of all of these because these this could be um, this could go like this, and uh, I mean you just have to like be able to check every subtree, and we're not checking every subtree. We just checked. Um, from the root. So now we need to go check this subtree and this subtree. I should erase the old ones. So how do we do that? Um, we just add more recursion. So um, let's do exactly that. So we're gonna have our and, so everything has to return true now. And we're just gonna do is balanced um, root, root dot left. And obviously we have to do the same thing for um, root dot right. 
So now there's like tons of recursion occurring um, because is balanced is calling itself and inside is balanced we're calling height and inside height we're calling height over and over. It's just like tons of recursion. It's checking everything. Um, I don't want to go through like the whole recursive stack because it's just so much. But hopefully you guys understand the concept. Um, if you do a few of these problems, I really think like a few tree problems you use recursion in all of them. So I think you guys can understand it. And I hope this explanation helps. So it's just, um, I believe it's O of N for um, complexity and O of H for um, or did it, running time, O of N for running time and O of H for uh, space complexity. No, it's not O of H. Oh, because of, in case it's unbalanced, that's why. So it's O of N actually. So yeah, that makes sense. It's only O of H if it's um, balanced, which in this case we're checking if it's balanced. Anyway guys, I you know I'm rambling. I hope you guys found this vid video helpful. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe, check out my channel, hit that like button. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I love responding to your questions, and I'll see you in the next video.